just minutes ago, we got new information on that deadly shooting that took the lives of 10 people. The suspected gunman has now been identified with law enforcement, assuring there is no longer a threat to the community. And this comes following a chaotic day as officers searched multiple scenes, piecing together the full details. The shooting started around 1030 last night inside a dance studio. There was a Lunar New Year celebration happening nearby. Deputies say the suspected gunman went inside and started firing using an assault rifle. The shooter then fled, but the story does not end there. There are so many multiple crime scenes believed to be involved. Monterey Park's Lunar New Year Festival was canceled today out of precaution. And we have team coverage this evening on this shooting. Our Madison Weil has reactions from local Lunar New Year events where celebrations have now turned into moments of silence. But first, let's catch you up with the very latest. We go to ABC 10 News reporter Natalie Chuck live in Monterey Park. Natalie, good evening. Hey there, Nia. Yeah, people in this community tonight might be able to find a bit of early after announced that they are no longer looking for any suspects in this case. They did let us know that the man found dead in a white cargo van about 45 minutes away from here towards the southwest earlier today was the suspect from last night's shooting. He has been identified as 72 year old who can tran and meanwhile here outside the Monterey Park City Hall, there has been a memorial that is growing just over to my right. People dropping off flowers, bringing balloons and coming together in a time of prayer while this community mourns their loss. The shooting happened last night just before 1030 in the evening at Star Ballroom Dance Hall. Again, that's just a few blocks away from where we are now. Ten people were pronounced dead on scene and ten taken to the hospital. We now know that seven are still still in the hospital and most of those victims are over the age of 50. Then about 30 minutes later, another incident at another ballroom just a few miles away. The suspect was disarmed by two patrons there. The investigation again spanned across the county over to South Bay, like you mentioned, Nia, all over the county. This was the scene in Torrance earlier today with that white cargo van I mentioned. Torrance police recognized the van law enforcement was looking for. We now know the suspect killed himself in that van as police officers approached it. A lot of people were watching this unfold. A mom and her daughter were there and they had this to say about the outcome. She was a little bit angry that he wouldn't have to face what he did to more than 10 families. We know 10 people are, are confirmed dead, but anybody else who was there, anybody else who um, experience that violence and, and that fear. Others here say they are happy the victim's families don't have to endure a trial. We are still waiting for more details to come out about the suspect's motive. In the meantime, this community here is just mourning the loss of those 10 lives and any of the victims or survivors of that violence. This mass shooting marks the fifth mass shooting in America so far this year and the deadliest since Uvalde, Texas. In Monterey Park, Natalie, ABC 10 News. Natalie, thank you so much for that update. And since this shooting happened near a Lunar New Year celebration, local officials are ensuring there is no threat to celebrations here in San Diego. Both Mayor Todd Gloria and Police Chief David Nislight responding to the news, sending heavy hearts to the people of Monterey Park. Again, both say there is no known threat to local events here. But Chief Nislight did say there will be more police presence at some of these Lunar New Year events.